His Excellency the Korean Ambassador came in full. The, uh, the, a person who has had not a small part to play in bringing us to this point and uh, this contract signing for all, all the different sections of this project that uh, we were witnessing today. Ano yung binidik na diri ka na ako? With the signing of these packages, with the, we demonstrate 
to all people that we are sinners about the sin, God's projects of infrastructure to foster growth and enjoy our lives on the world. Despite of the adjustments that we have had to make to compensate and reflect that the world situation has brought to the world. Indeed, those centers will all be down to the fulfillment of the more than one group and the more than one group. I join my people in anticipating the eventual progress and completion of this very good project. As your president, I will make sure that every resource that will be used here will be massive for the success of this entire community. I will study upon the Department of Health Transportation, all the concerned agencies, local government groups, as well as our partners and other stakeholders to ensure the smooth and faithful implementation of this essential underground. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that the attacks that we will be laying down here will lead us to that point which we have all So let us all work together in the spirit of unity and cooperation so that we can all build a future where we can thrive and achieve our goals and aspirations and also for all the generations Good day, Benedict. Joining us uh, this evening is uh, our Department of Finance Secretary, uh, Ben Brockman, the Manila Overseas Press Club Chairman, Tony Lopez. Uh, to just describe me, I was uh, to clarify what we sat down. So, uh, too nice, too, too nice, and too decent. I think we, we haven't spoken to some members of our staff recently. Uh, but but I, <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I've never been this proud in uh, such a glowing manner. So thank you very much. Uh, MOPC Vice President uh, Mike Toledo, the uh, other members of the Board of Governors, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen. And all our distinguished guests, good evening. A pleasant evening to all here tonight. It is a pleasure to join you for this event and to share with you some of the insights as well as my administration's upcoming initiatives for the country. Since the campaign, unity has been our battle cry since the beginning of the campaign. And now we are setting into our track and finding our place for the six year marathon. It remains, unity remains one of the primary driving forces in pursuing economic recovery. As I have stated many, many times to our friends and our partners to uh, a bit from uh, other countries, and I think to them that it is important to forge a distinctive partnership that will have exist and to forge new partnerships in our own case because in the uncertain world that we are facing, this partnership establishes our transformation into the post-pandemic new global economy. And uh, it is an uncertain world, it is an uncertain world that we are facing, it is an uncertain future. And that makes those partnerships all the more important. And alone, the concept of unity applies. Uh, although it was during the campaign, we could find a concept of an idea that we would brought forward as a message to the people. It still remains as a driving mark for us. And so what we need to do is to strengthen the Filipino organizing ability, the Filipino capability. What we need to do is to strengthen the Filipino army. What we need to do is to strengthen our position in the world. And we need everyone to help At the very first, the Filipino Filipino office, I ask you, everyone, 
Thank <laughs> you.